Don't look at the monitor. Oh. <laughs> Don't look at the monitor. Look at I'm the camera. I'm not going to look at the monitor. Do I need to turn it around? No. All right. You ready? What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the House of Wrinkles, bringing you the how-to for English Bulldogs and other canine tips and tricks. So today we're going to be talking about the raw food diet, also known as the barf diet. We're going to show you how we prepare the meals and also how we feed them to our babies. We actually do some additives and things. So you guys be sure to stay tuned. Why did you smack me? I didn't. <laughs> Go close. Okay. All right. Okay, so just a few of y'all have reached out and said that you're interested in knowing how we prepare our birth diet for our babies. So we wanted to bring you this video just to uh, go through exactly what we do to prepare the meals and what ingredients we use. All right, so start off with, we use a grinder. You could probably go to a butcher or somewhere and they might grind it up for you. Uh, that'd be something you'd want to check in on, but we do it such a large scale that I just went ahead and purchased a grinder. This grinder come from Bass Pro Shop, and just to let you know, it was $400. I have looked on Amazon and I found some that you could get for a little less than $100, but I'm not going to link anything because I don't, I don't know, I haven't used them, so I can't recommend it, but you're welcome to get on there and see if you can find something. Now, just to note, with our recipe, we do the chicken quarters. You want the, the diameter of the hole large enough to where you can get a chicken quarter down in it. So just keep that in mind as you're shopping for one. All right, what we use for our recipe, we use 10 pound bag of chicken quarters. Now this bag, we got these chicken quarters on sale for what was it? Two, like 247 a pound, which is mm -hmm. crazy cheap. You can get chicken quarter, 10 pound bag of chicken quarters at Walmart for around $6. Uh, but the key to this, if you're trying to save money, just keep your eye open for any sales that are coming up. So you got a 10 pound bag of chicken quarters. I use per 10 pounds, I use one pound bag of green beans, one pound of carrot, one pound of ground chuck. I use it uh, 20, 80%, the 20% being fat, and that's for the fat portion is mostly what we're going after for this mixture. I'll also put in two eggs. Let's just say you have a 50 pound bulldog. You're supposed to feed it 3% of its body weight, which comes out at a pound and a half. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to wash the ingredients that Eric just talked about. Now these five ingredients are the core base of our recipe. We do add a few things later and we'll get into that um, later on in the video. But this is our five core uh, ingredients that they have to have for premium health and um, you've got to just make sure that they're really clean. So we're going to go through that process right now. wash these eggs and we're gonna wash these with a little bit of um, soap actually all right so we actually we put gloves on to do it you don't have to put gloves on uh, but it helps. helps, you know. <laughs> no. Seriously, the biggest issue with this um, is human health. That's the biggest problem. That's the biggest concern that everyone has is the human, uh, you know, 
humans getting salmonella and E. coli, all this stuff. So that's the biggest. So it's really just, it's, it's being smart about the whole situation. You don't want to come in here and do a bunch of raw chicken, just leave it and being unclean and everything. You want to clean up after, you, after yourself. Uh, but it's mostly just being smart and being very sanitary. Uh, just the same way, if you think about it, I like to grill. I'll grill chicken quarters and I take the same precautions as you cleaning myself and just cross contamination type deal, you know? So, all right. So this, this is chicken quarters, like we said. This is the muscle meat that they need. Uh, our recipe, we, we've done several, several different things. Uh, we've tried different options. We've tried more, mostly beef, just all kinds of different things. And this, just a disclaimer, this is what works best for our five bulldogs. What works for our dogs may not work for yours, but especially Lulu, she has so many health issues. Um, this just works best for her. All right, this is our chicken quarters. This is 80% of our recipe. This is the muscle group. So now we're going to do the vegetables and what this is it provides lots of vitamins for them but one of the main things is this gives them roughage and roughage is for help to help their digestive system also it imitates for instance if a, a dog or a wolf was out in the wild and ate a, a rabbit this is what would be in their intestines so it just mimics the intestines of a wild game All right, now we add in the eggs. As you've seen, Amber was washing them. The reason why is we do the whole yolk and everything and the shell. The shell is very high in calcium and it's good for their, good for their bones. Said you want to make sure you get the shells and everything in there it's just it's really good for them get as much as you can you can just crumble up what might not have been blended all right now you just get in here and Mix it up. Now, like I said, we do a much, much larger scale of this. Uh, I just done 150, 160 pounds the other day. We're just doing something a little smaller just to let you guys see the process. It's exactly the same thing, except just a whole lot more. A whole stinking lot more. It takes me several hours to do it. But the thing is, it's worth it. Uh, are we saving money? Maybe. Uh, you know, it, it just all goes back to where if you, if you find the meat on sale, that's really what it boils down to. But the money savings doesn't compare to knowing exactly what our babies are eating. I mean, we're making this and we're feeding it to them, we know what is going through their body. To wear a kibble, just 
just take a wild guess and uh, you might can figure out what's going in there. I know we have one viewer that used to work for a dog food factory uh, processing and he did comment and uh, said he knows what goes into kibble and I guess I probably really can't say much more but it's it's not a good thing. They they actually cook the food in the factories at 5,000 pounds. They pressure cook it at 5,000 pounds per square inch. Everything's getting cooked out of it. Okay, so these are the containers that we use. Eric ordered these off of Amazon and we'll put a link in the description below. Um, these hold uh, eight ounces, which is half a pound, and these hold uh, 16 ounces, which is a full pound. So um, according to your dog's weight or what you're gonna be feeding your dog, you would wanna choose one of these. Um, two, of course, is a little larger, so we use these for him and Zoe, and then the smaller ones for the rest of our dogs. All right, so that made 10 and a half pounds. That's $13.52. All right, so we're gonna clean up around here. We're gonna go feed the babies and we're gonna walk you through that process. We also do lots of additives and we're gonna tell you about that. We're not gonna tell you about that. That's country. That's fine. That's fine. Now you can give the chicken to them directly without grinding up, but starting off, we definitely recommend just holding it in your hand, letting them learn how to chew it up instead of just guzzling it down. This is an excellent way to clean their teeth. It's nature's toothpick to them. We do this procedure once a week for them just to clean their teeth. Okay, so like we said before, everybody gets half a pound in the afternoon except for Tua. He gets a whole pound. So this is just what we prepared earlier. Then we've got uh, blueberries for antioxidants. Um, this is canned pumpkin, and this is for their uh, digestive system. Then we've got uh, salmon oil and yogurt. Yogurt is another probiotic that's good for them. And then we've got uh, chicken livers here, and we rotate it between chicken livers, chicken hearts, and chicken gizzards. So we don't do all three at one time. We'll do one, then skip to the other, like a week later, whatever. So uh, that's the, uh, the organ, meat. organ meat. That's the organ meat. So they definitely need an organ meat. Um, all this stuff is extra. They can live without it, but it's good stuff that's good for them, that um, has good benefits for their skin, coat, their organs on the inside. So uh, this is just the stuff that we add to it. This coconut oil, I think we ordered this from Amazon, so we can put the link to it uh, on the description below as well. 
coconut oil and the probiotic. Yes. Uh, this is a one fourth teaspoon. Um, this probiotic um, is the only thing that we add to the morning and the afternoon meal. So all these other additives we only do uh, in the afternoon. But this we do both. And this has uh, no taste or smell, so um, you can put it right there on there like that and they'll eat, they'll eat it. Okay, salmon oil, just do one squirt. We've done a video on salmon oil, how much it helps with shedding in their coat. It'll be linked in the description also. Uh, also from Amazon. On the blueberries, I just do like three or four on each. This is just a regular Greek non-fat plain. You don't want to get, uh, obviously you don't want to get any kind of yogurt that has flavoring in it. You want to get plain. This is a good natural probiotic, so if, uh, if you weren't able to get the other probiotic, you can always get this. Just a couple bucks. I think maybe like four dollars for this big. That's too uh, hydrated to eat. <laughs> okay, so lastly, we're gonna do the chicken livers, which I hate doing. Usually, I try to get Eric to do it. But he's behind the camera today, so. Man up. Ugh. It's not that bad. It is gross. Obviously, I don't want to give that big of a piece to one dog, so I just kind of tear it up in the little pieces here. Mm. <laughs> so nasty. I do like it, but it's gross. Mm. Mm. One thing we did not mention earlier is that after you prepare your food, <clears throat> um, you you want to freeze uh, the food, the food that we made earlier, the, the basic part, um, you want to freeze that immediately. Chicken, raw chicken's only good for about uh, 48 hours without it being frozen. So you want to freeze that immediately. And what we do is just pull it out the night before for the next day to let it thaw out or whatever. Um, but anyway, okay, you want to get a picture of this up close. It's kind of what it looks like. Um, I can give it to them just like this, or I can kind of mix it up. They'll eat it either way, so I'm just going to give it to them like this and kind of show y'all what they do. Um, okay, so we're going to let the babies in. They've been out. We always let them out to kind of do their business potty before they eat. Um, so we're fixing to let them in and let y'all see what, what happens. <laughs> Get the pie back. Get the cake, though. Good girl. Choco. Get in there. All right. Oh, you excited? This is just amazing with Lulu. With her kibble, we really just had to put it down and walk away, and it took her 30 minutes to an hour to eat. Now she loves this stuff. She absolutely loves it. what 
what you call five happy bulldogs right there. All right, you can see everybody scarfed it down. We're gonna go ahead and shut it down here. We appreciate y'all watching. If you stay till the end, so sorry this video is so long, but we just tried to give you all the information, just pile everything into one video. Uh, y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Follow us on all the social medias, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Seriously, it helps us to move up higher in the search. Um, Amber? Anything? I can't think of anything else. You might have said all you can say for one day, man. Also, we forgot to mention, everyone be sure to get your entries in for the $100 Visa gift card. It ends October the 16th, 2020. The winner will be announced on October the 18th. The instructions will be in the description below.